Okay. In the first part, we studied about general introduction and role of excipients. Now, we are going to deal with classification of excipients. We can classify excipients by several methods, but the first method means uh, by several methods depending upon the regular regulatory aspect or we can say depending upon their sources as well as depending upon their chemical nature or depending upon their application of the excipients but the first method or the easiest method what we can say it is based on the regulatory aspect there are three classes in regulatory aspect classification first thing approved excipients second thing intermediate excipients and third thing the new compounds approved excipient it means that these excipients are in a use in a food as well as pharmaceutical industry and they are considered as safe and they are in a use for very long time so their safety is known intermediate excipients they are the derivatives or structural modifications of the approved excipients and they are also in a use as excipient however the new compounds they are not used in a pharmaceutical industry and their safety evaluation as well as their stability evaluation is going on so these are the three categories based on the regulatory aspect regulatory aspect next is based on the sources of excipients so excipients in general we are discussing excipients can be obtained from animal source vegetable or plant source mineral source marine source as well as synthetic one or which we can say a chemical laboratory made excipients animal source excipients like beeswax or honey spermacetivax could be the example of animal uh, obtained from the animal source vegetable or plant source excipients like coca butter as well as peppermint oil or we can say vanilla essence it can be considered as a vegetable source or plant source excipients excipients from the mineral like bentonite kaolin paraffins all these are the mineral source excipients however agar or chitin chitosan carrageenans all these are the example of the excipients obtained from the marine source the modern excipients like polyethylene glycols as well as polysorbates these are the synthetic one or we can say they are prepared by the synthesis in a chemical laboratory based on the chemical nature the next classification like alcohols like several volatile oils or polyphenolic compounds esters ethers aldehydes like fixed oils as well as uh, we can say there are several derivatives ester derivatives ether derivatives carbohydrate several gums which are being used they are carbohydrates mucilages they are carbohydrate waxes yes apart from that polymers as well as proteins so all these are the gelatin it is one of the protein and it can be used as a excipient the polymers cellulose pectin these are the polymers so likewise there is a huge classification if you are a uh, huge classification based on the chemical nature but <clears throat> the most important classification is based on their application as you are aware excipients they are not therapeutically active they are inactive substances but they are necessary there to uh, make the apis into the formulation or to convert the api into the formulation so this is the main application apart from that there are several roles or applications of the excipients but based on their application we can classify excipients first is the cl first class is the fillers like plant cellulose gelatin lactose so each category we are going to study in detail related with the herbal so at that time we are going to discuss the meaning of these terms what are the fillers 
what are binders what are disintegrants or we can say what are coating agents lubricants antioxidants flavoring agent coloring agents so all these are the applications of the excipients like filling property binding property disintegrant property or the coating property or some excipients are antioxidants flavors colors so all these are the applications and there are several examples uh, from the herbal sources uh, of these excipients like fillers are plant cellulose, gelatin, lactose, sucrose, these are the fillers, binders, gamac acid, alginic acid, corn star, these are the binders, gorgum as well as agar can be used as a disintegrant, coating agent, gelatin, shellac, lubricant, castor oil, mineral oil. So there are so many examples of the natural excipients or we can say uh, based on their application part as well as the one thing remaining with is viscosity builders so all these are the types of the excipients depending upon their application part but that list is huge and we must deal with what exactly our syllabus says so our syllabus includes some colorants sweeteners binders diluents viscosity builders disintegrants flavors and perfumes so out of that we already covered in the herbal cosmetics colorants flavors or perfumes so we already dealt with that perfumes and colorants yet you have to remind those things or you have to study those things on your own because already it is being taught at the time of regular lectures this online videos I am going to cover the remaining points so starting with the first thing even the colorants uh, we can give example like we studied uh, saffron color as well as indigo color as well as annato that is bizarre lama so all these colorants we studied turmeric that is uh, that is having curcumin so all these colorants we studied 